Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and you're watching a tail stock being designed in the part design, generative shape design, it was finally assembled in the assembly design workbench. So what the tail stock is uh, basically a part of a lathe mounted on its bedways opposite to the head stock to support either the lengthy work pieces or tools such as drills, reamers, etc. So this can be clamped anywhere on the lathe bed. So basically for the designing of this uh, I have uh, uh, I have used the uh, top-down approach for uh, the assembly. So what exactly I did is uh, I have designed the parts. So some of the parts I have designed while I was doing the assembly itself, so, uh, such as the uh, washers and uh, nuts and all. So uh, I'll be going through each part that I was I have used uh, to uh, you know to design this particular tailstock here. So basically, uh, for the users who wants to know exactly how the tailstock looks like and its different views, I'll be uh, switching to the different views, the front view, the side view, and the top view of the tailstock so that the users can uh, see how the design looks like from different views, which uh, any other manuals or anywhere if you go, you won't be able to find. And uh, so I'll be switching it to the right view and uh, the left view. So let me just come to each part now. So, so as you can see over here, you have uh, different nuts. So let's see where and all you have the nuts. You have a nut over here, another nut over here, and another nut over here. So basically, in the uh, design books, uh, they won't be giving you the uh, drawings for the nuts. They'll be just saying M cell nut, M16 nut, uh, lock nut, hex nut and all these things. So you should be in a position to know how exactly to design a nut. So basically if you know how to design a nut, you will be able to accomplish any kind of nuts they have uh, talked about. So if you want to know how to design a nut, you can go back to my previous tutorials so you can find uh, somewhere to design how to create a nut or how to create a bolt or something. Some tutorials have been uploaded by me. So, uh, <laughs> so you have, uh, you know, the whole uh, parts are comprised of the body, the feather, barrel, screw, spindle, flange, screw and feather, hand wheel, washer, hex nut, stud, washer, M16, standard, then handle, uh, hex nut, and again the clamping plate, and square head bolt, and uh, the washer, hex nut in the center. So. <coughs> So I'll be showing you uh, each part uh, so that uh, the people, uh, basically the main intention of uh, uploading this tutorial is uh, the people who have uh, searched for tail stock and they want to know how the tail stock looks like or a person who wants to design this tail stock and he doesn't know how to create it or he uh, doesn't have an idea how to start off with. So this tutorial is going to help such people. So. Uh, so basically this one particular uh, object, this is the body here <coughs> and you have uh, <coughs> you have your handle here and uh, you have your washer and uh, nut here and uh, center and washer again so uh, Again, a handle over here. And uh, this is what you call the stud. So, uh, these are the main parts that was used. You have some screw over here. And the screw was uh, aligned using the circular pattern. And uh, this uh, object right here, as you can see, uh, is the, what do you call the flange. So, uh, if you go through any designing book, you will be able to get the design, the drawings for this. And uh, you should try, uh, every mechanical engineer uh, should try tailstock, to design a tailstock once, because uh, it is an important component, mechanical component. 
So uh, this is a small walkthrough uh, for the beginners and the people who have uh, gathered over here in this channel to know about the tail stock. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, any clarifications, doubts you have or uh, if you need more info you can uh, just comment just below my video and I'll be, uh, I'll be uploading tutorials or any uh, help that you need I'll be doing it uh, for you. So hope you enjoyed and uh, make my channel lively. Thank you so much for watching.